we live? I think we're live. Um, what's up, guys? Circa here, your bread of indie pro development. And I'm here to deliver another sprint review and sprint plan. We're going to go over the things that were accomplished last week for indie pro, and I'm going to tell you all about the things that we will be accomplishing this week for Indie Pro. And we got a lot of exciting stuff. I mean, stuff that's been years in the making. Gang, get ready. Get ready, okay? I want you to strap in, put on your thinking caps, because we got a lot of stuff to go through. So, let me just fix this, uh, this nonsense in the, uh, in the description of this vid real quick. So yeah, so last sprint. Let me tell you what we completed. If you go into your Indie Pro Training Vault, you will see that there is a brand new training. I mean, it's been in there for a little bit, but now it's fully complete. And I'm just gonna pull up a screen share here to show you <laughs> what I'm talking about. Let's go. Screen share. Promote and communicate with video. Is it done though? Can we trust that it's complete and we can go and take it and it's all good? Yeah. You can trust that. It's done. Because your boy made sure of it. So now you've got a brand new spanking, brand new spank training ready to go for you guys. If you've been interested in getting better at video production and applying it to your artistic career to reach more people, to build better fan relationships, well, you can do that now, dude. So get on it. We're all very excited about that. On top of that, we also fully deployed Indies Live 2.0. So that's two roadmap items crossed off in one single sprint. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, how did they do it? We did it. We done it. Um, so Indies Live 2.0 fully deployed. Promote and communicate with video. Training fully released. Uh, are there any other things we want to mention? How to build your brand training. Casey completed the filming on that. So we are now in the editing phase. Several lessons have already been edited. And by the end of this sprint, we should begin hosting because editing will be complete or you know a lesson or two away from being complete. Should be a quick hosting process. You can expect the full training to be delivered next sprint because all of the lesson texts are all prepared, all of the deliverables are ready. So we're just waiting on edits. Um, on top of that, we planned a anniversary special for you guys. It's gonna be the five year anniversary in March and we have planned some five year anniversary type stuff for you guys. And we're excited about it. Um, so that's what we got done last sprint. Oh, and then we also added a bunch of case studies from you guys to our case study database, which will be a big part of the new website. Now, on top of that, here's what we're doing this sprint. We're beginning production on FanFinder Method 3.0. FanFinder Method 3.0 will include, let me just pull up my notes here, because I want you guys to be as excited about this as I am. So FanFinder Method 3.0 will include a module from me about the five-year history of, or our five-year history and experience with performance videos, fan finders, as we call them, affectionately. Because I gotta tell you guys, it's cooked. The narrative is cooked. Music videos are cooked. Not cooked like a freshly baked loaf of bread. I mean, donezo. I see no reason to be creating music videos in 2022 unless you just got all the money to burn in the world. Performance videos are the high performance promotional asset of the decade. It's official. So I'm going to be talking about that for a module, but then we're going to kick it over to Michael Kessler, our in-house videographer, who's going to give you a bit more of an in-depth view of how to create performance videos, whether you want to hire a videographer, whether you only have an iPhone to use, or whether you want to go full regalia with a mirrorless camera, we're gonna show you how to create high-performing performance videos. Then we're gonna kick it over to the IndieX team. And in their module, they're gonna be showing you all of the applications of performance videos, not just on Facebook ads, no. Because that's not all performance videos are good for. We got more than just Facebook ads. In FanFinder 3.0, 
we're going to have instructions for organic fan finder distribution across Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and vertical video formats. But we're also going to teach you about Instagram ads for FanFinder Method. What's been working? What has the team been using? What have they been up to? Amazing things. And they're going to show you Instagram, TikTok, yes, of course, Facebook, and also YouTube. How to use a FanFinder video to run ads across all these platforms. We'll be in FanFinder 3.0 and it's beginning production this sprint. Who's excited? I'm excited. I'm, I'm doughy-eyed in anticipation. <laughs> know what I mean? And then after that, we're going to have a frequently asked questions module. So it'll be plenty of uh, answers to your most burning questions. Questions like, what should my budget be? How do I know if this is going well? How long should I keep it on? We're going to tell you. Calm down. It's coming. So FanFinder Method 3.0 begins production this sprint. You can expect it. Well, we, I mean, we said in Q1 on our, t on our roadmap. So if you saw our roadmap, you already knew that. But I'm very excited about it. On top of that, we're going to complete screens for a new homepage, which means what? What? We're inviting test users to the new website that's been in development for two years plus. This sprint, we're inviting test users. So that means a lucky few of you who have been with us for a while, who we can trust to go tell us what sucks about the new website, what's broken, what do we need to fix before we launch it. We're gonna be doing all that work this sprint. So we'll have new users on the new website learning all about what it's like how fast it is, how amazing it is. And then as we are able to fix things that they find to be broken, we're going to be inviting more of you and more of you until all of you are on the new website. That's how it's going to go down. So guys, we are in striking distance. I mean, the new website is a thing now. It's a thing people will be using. That means we're not too far away from full migration. I'm so excited. It's taken years to get here, but we're here now. All of us, together. I'm about to cry, dude. It's so amazing. On top of that, we're gonna be refactoring our social media profiles, updating them for the five years of existence that we've experienced with you lovely folks. There's a whole lot to talk about. There's a whole lot of new narratives to, to discuss. Not the least of which is the fact that you know, there's people on the team who have been entrepreneur students for five years. You know, Ed Isola, uh, Jesse Gillenwalters is not far away from being five years with us. Andy Hunter has been with us forever. Shay has been with us for quite some time. And if you look at these people, they're doing amazing things. Their careers are amazing. And, and they are now the elders of this community, and it would be a damn shame if we didn't represent that on all our social media profiles. That's what we're doing. On top of that, we're beginning the refactor of Welcome Wagon. What's Welcome Wagon? Isn't that that one post you do where you welcome all the new people? Not soon. Soon it will be even cooler than that. It will be an interactive process where we welcome everyone in like it's the first day of summer camp, and I'm very excited about that refactor. And then we will complete editing on how to build your brand training. And if we get, if I see lessons coming in, guys, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to start uploading those lessons to your training area because we're here to deliver value. So if you, if you don't know, you haven't seen the roadmap, what I want you to do is go to the top of this group and I want you to go through the, the announcements, previous announcements until you find the roadmap. And I want you to look at that roadmap and I want you to tell me, wait, <laughs> didn't you guys just release a bunch of the things you promised? Yes, we did. And then I want you to look at the rest of the roadmap and think to yourself, what's it going to be like when they're just dropping all these hot features all year long and even ones that they didn't even include on this roadmap yet? That's, that's what I want you to think about because that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So guys, March approaches. Our five-year anniversary approaches. The new website will have eyes, eyes on it from within the community, testing it out helping us get it ready for launch. We're excited. I hope you're excited. New trainings coming, new features coming, new website coming, five-year anniversary coming. Get friggin' pumped.
Guys, I'm so excited to be here with you. I'm so excited for the literal thousands of indies that will undoubtedly be joining you when we roll out this five-year anniversary promo. Because I'm telling you, with all of these new features, with this new website, with all this new training, it'll be unstoppable. They'll have to all capitulate into the indie community when they see what we've been up to in here. I'm so proud of all you guys. I'm so proud of our team. I'm so ready for this year. So I hope you're pumped, and I will see you guys this time next week with an even more bullish announcement. Love you all, and I hope you have a breadful day. Peace out.